Hey guys, it's your boy, MTG Lion, and today we're going to tell you the hottest drama going around the Magic the Gathering YouTube community. Is that right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a promise for you guys. I will go back to being an MTG Finance channel January 1st, regardless of how many views and how much money people give me. But uh, the drama is really going to escalate soon. So I'm going to miss a bunch of drama. So I'm going to be a part-time MTG Finance channel and a part-time drama channel because it's going to get hot in January because in January, we have GP Indy. The professor will be at GP Indy and so will Unsleeve Media slash Jeremy slash MTG Headquarters slash Decordering. He will also be at GP Houston and I believe he is a man of his word. He says, my plan is to still attend GP Indianapolis. Did I just say GP Houston? I'll be at GP Houston unless I'm banned, which might happen soon. But anyway, my plan is to still attend GP Indianapolis in January. I have yet to be told I am barred from the building. And even if I am, I will hang out with you all somewhere else. He says, I'll see you all there. I can't play in any events because he's banned, but there is always a lot to enjoy at GP at a GP outside the main event. Smiley face. I'm pretty sure if I know Jeremy correctly, I've been doing this drama channel for a few days now, he's mentioning cosplayers. He is going to troll the cosplayers. I'm almost certain of this fact. I'll run some free unstable drafts at the bar. I mean, would you rather get a free unstable draft with MTG headquarters or pay a lot of money? to meet the professor. It's a little bit of uh, everything for everybody, right? So I think Channel Fireball is doing a fantastic job. I don't know how Card Kingdom feels about this because Card Kingdom is normally Tolarian's main sponsorship. And obviously Channel Fireball has their own website which they want to sell cards on. So quite fascinating that they, that Tolarian has decided to go with Channel Fireball, at least for these events and not continue sponsorship with Card Kingdom, or maybe he can have both. So how do you get into one of these events? How do you get people to fly you out, pay for everything, and adoring fans? I kind of wish Tolarian went to GP Houston. I can't go to GP Indy because GP Houston is the same month. I'm thinking about maybe protesting not going to GP Houston. The store is still going on. You guys met the uh, person. Uh, you guys will love her. Uh, we did get her a better mic, but you know how videos are recorded. Videos are recorded a week in advance, so you guys have to deal with some more videos. At least, I think by the time this is posted on Saturday, there will be like one or two videos left. But yeah, you guys will like her. She has a very good attitude. She's a weeb, and you know she's perfect for the store. I don't, I can't say. Well, I mean, we we interviewed a lot of people. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Like this is the ideal job for a lot of you guys. Like you wanted this job. We had over a hundred, we had over 200 resumes. We had over a hundred phone calls and then we came down and narrowed it down to her. And this other guy, Brian, not Brian Lewis, obviously we would hire Brian Lewis because then we would make a quarter million dollars. But besides the point, we found that she was more eager to grow the channel. The, the key here was I needed someone to really just grow the channel and like it and love it and and grow it because a lot of people have come and left and come and left and come and left and then they don't leave leave they just work at a marketing agency i wanted someone who just loved magic and the channel and was willing to grow with the channel all right small side later uh, this is going to be an epic event it's going to be a main showdown between good and evil uh, whichever side that you want to pick, uh, you can assume I'm not saying Jeremy's evil. I'm not saying Tolarian's evil or good. It's just interesting because you have two different sides, right? You have one that would I would classify as a Wizard of the Coast side, which would be Tolarian, and one that I would classify as a, um, I don't want to call a right, a conservative side. I, I don't know what, a Pepe Farm side. Would that be correct? A Pepe side. Um, he really likes that Pepe meme. So you have essentially you have MTG headquarters versus Wizards of the Coast, but Wizards of the Coast supports and maybe funds 
Tularian Community College. It would be interesting for him to make a video explaining where the money is coming from and how much he's getting paid. I know it's probably never going to be made, but I've always been found it fascinating because I don't know how much these people are getting paid. I can only guess. Now, maybe they don't want people to know, but I'm guessing that obviously if he's going to travel to all these places, Channel Fireball would probably pay for the hotel and airfare and meals at the very least and give him some type of stipends, which is fantastic because four years ago when I first started YouTube, I started my channel before Tolarian. I started my channel New Law Student before MTG headquarters. That's just fact. The channel date is still there. Uh, and it was just people making trade binder videos. The podcasts, like sh they crapped on us all the time for being small and not important. And now we're bigger than them. So that I couldn't ask for anything else. My biggest goal was to be bigger than MTG Finance Reddit in terms of views, in terms of subscribers, and in terms of like everything. And obviously I am. Now, I haven't really kept up with that goal because I don't know how big they are now. I assume that I'm still bigger than them, but if they are bigger than me, then I have a new goal and then I have to reach that goal soon. So I have to like try my best instead of being kind of lazy. I still haven't fixed my website, by the way. But we are selling artwork and the artwork is gorgeous. Falia is lilies and all the things I love. And yeah, we are going to ship out artwork on our quote Patreon. Yes, we're going to... Our Patreon has not been updated in years, multiple years probably. But yes, instead of we'll have like different tiers and then uh, Marcus and there's only two of you and I forgot. Oh, Marcus and Jeremy, duh, Jeremy from Australia. I'm, we're going to show you the uh, images right now. Like shipping is really bad and obviously it's Christmas. And I'm going to figure out a way to ship it to you in a nice way because uh, Presley has drawn really pretty artwork for you guys. And I'm trying to ship them out with the cards, but they got... Uh, shipping is just a nightmare right now in Houston. So anyway, uh, if you guys are excited by this event, I am uh, incredibly excited because I kind of wish they went to Houston. I know MTG headquarters has clients in Houston or at least he used to. And unfortunately, GP Houston is, I think, limited? Is it sealed? Anyway, I don't play at main events because main events bore me to death. I just go there to sell cards. I hope I'm not banned from the event. I'm, I mean, I'm not DCI banned. I'm not banned for life. I'm sure people will buy cards from me at the vendor booth, right? So I'm going to go there. I'm going to try to sell as many filias as I can. Hopefully before the on impending reprint. I don't know if Alia will be reprinted. So yes, she's going to be reprinted. The question is, can I get out of her before that time? And then Malera is fetched. I'm going to sell I'm going to sell every modern card I have because I don't believe in a format anymore. I probably shouldn't announce that in this video. But anyway, that's it, guys. Are you, who's going to GP Indie? Can someone go there and take video? And be like, drama alert, drama alert. And then, you know, and then send me the video. Because I would love to post this meeting. I'm sure that HQ will meet Tolarian. Because they met before. But obviously this time it's a little different. Because HQ's upset. Tolarian made a video about him. And HQ's made several videos response in response to that video. And if there was anyone for HQ to blame. Like, I don't think, I think he's blaming the wrong people. I think he's blaming Christine, but how much impact does Christine have when you compare it to Wedge and Tolarian? They have a way bigger follow they have a way bigger fan base, right? Anyway, my dogs are barking and it's time to give them a snack, I guess. Bye guys.